हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग व्हाट इज मिनी गैस्ट्रिक बाईपास और ओ हाउ इट इज कंपेयर टू रूएन बाई गैस्ट्रिक बाईपास और आर बाई जी हाउ इट इज डन हाउ डू यू प्रिपेयर फॉर सर्जरी व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस एंड व्हाट आर द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ एम टाइप्स ऑफ बेरियट्रिक सर्जरीज एंड डिफरेंट बिटवीन दिस सर्जरीज हाउ वेट लॉस हैपन्स इन मिनी गैस्ट्रिक बाईपास हु शुड बी कंसिडरिंग दिस सर्जरी रिकवरी फ्रॉम ऑपरेशन डाइट आफ्टर ऑपरेशन हाउ टू चूज एन अप्रोप्रिएट सर्जरी फॉर योर and what are the long term precautions that you must keep in mind so what is mgb mini gastric bypass involves division of the stomach and making it into two different pouches the smaller pouch remains in continuity with your food pipe so that the food can go from your mouth into your food pipe and enter this smaller part of the stomach which leads to decrease in intake of quantity of food and then this smaller tube is connected to your small intestine at a given point depending upon your weight your comorbidities like whatever else diseases you have and lot of other factors depending upon that we choose a set point of the small intestine and join it with the stomach tube so that the food now travels from your stomach tube directly to the small intestine's distal part and the proximal part of small intestine where the juices of liver and pancreas drain and where the initially most of the digestion happens that part is being bypassed so this is why it is called as a bypass procedure it is called as a mini gastric bypass because initially the run by gastric bypass was most common worldwide as well as in india and that involved two different anastomoses one with the stomach to the intestine and one more between two loops of intestines so that was called as run by gastric bypass and since mini gastric bypass involves only one anastomosis so it was named as a mini gastric bypass meaning it is a simpler bypass and probably more easier to do with lesser complication mini gastric bypass has grown a lot in last few years because the stomach pouch is much bigger so patients are able to eat a bigger meal as compared to run by gastric bypass they feel the quality of life is better they enjoy their meals the second component that the bypass of mini gastric bypass length is more so the overall weight loss in mgb is better as compared to rygb as well as the resolution of problems like high blood pressure high diabetes is also better in mini gastric bypass in most of the studies as well as the long term weight regain is also less in mini gastric bypass the safety of procedure also becomes better because mini gastric bypass involves a single anastomosis which is much lower down whereas run by gastric bypass involved two anastomoses as described previously the surgery involves use of endo staplers meaning that a stapling gun will be fired which has titanium pins which fire on both sides of the cutting the blade fires in between and this allows us to divide the intestine as well as to join them without spillage and much bleeding the endo staplers have now enabled us to do all these surgeries with laparoscope or with robot and open surgery is almost out of picture these days well you contact your surgeons at least 2 weeks before surgery so that they know your history they know your data and if any special precautions are to be taken they can start the preparation usually we admit the patient on the day of surgery if the patient is very high risk we can admit a few days before but for normal patients we admit on the day of surgery they come in the morning you operate in the morning and then they can go home in a day or two usually after the day of surgery or maximum on next day also remember that these surgeries are done laparoscopically so there are no big cuts on your abdomen and the recovery is very quick patients come back to us after 5 days to 1 week where we have a review we see their small small cuts that they have and then they can go back change their diet and start enjoying their life the follow up is they come back to us again after 2 weeks and then after month if they live far off they can do the consultations online also thereafter we call them once a month for the first year and thereafter once every year so what are the main advantages of mini gastric bypass since it's a little more aggressive surgery this can be done in difficult patients who have bmi more than 40 also the resolution of comorbidities like high blood sugar high blood pressure high dyslipidemia joint pains everything will be better in bypass as compared to a simpler surgery like sleeve gastrectomy also the patients who have reflux disease lot of acidity or gastritis the pressure of the stomach decreases after surgery so they get relief from these symptoms as well the long term weight regain also is much less as compared to a simpler surgery the mini gastric bypass is also a very easily reversible procedure so in case 
there happens to be a problem, we can very easily reverse the surgery. We can just let the small intestine divide and go down and we rejoin the two parts of the stomach and the normal anatomy is almost restored very quickly. What could be the major disadvantage of the procedure? This is a little aggressive surgery. So, for patients who do not require an aggressive surgery, like people who are less than BMI 40 and who are not diabetic, we can offer a simpler solution in terms of a sleep gastrectomy rather than doing a mini gastric bypass. Since minerals, vitamins and proteins are also getting bypassed, so patient has to be more careful of the supplements after mini gastric bypass as compared to a non-bypass procedure. For patients who have to take some chronic medicines, the absorption of medicines may become a little erratic after a bypass, so they should also consider a simpler bypass. In them also, the simpler procedure may be considered, but then again, there are no hard and fast rules to define which will be a best procedure in a given set of patients. Patients who have a very chronic or a high range of chronic disease, like they have a failing liver, a failing kidney, again, a simpler procedure may be a better choice. So, how weight loss happens in mini-gastric bypass? First of all, the stomach is being divided into two parts as you can see in the figures. So, the smaller part decreases the intake of food which leads to weight loss. Secondly, the fundus of the stomach which leads to hunger sensation that is being excluded from the contact of food. So, again, the hunger decreases. Thirdly, the food is basically absorbed in the first part of the small intestines which we are bypassing in this procedure. So, the absorption of food goes down a lot. So again, this leads to weight loss. And lastly, since the unabsorbed food is hitting the distal intestines directly, so a lot of hormonal changes happen, which again lead to weight loss as well as resolution of comorbidities like high blood sugar, high blood pressure, etc. as soon as the surgery is done. This surgery is particularly effective in resolution of diabetes because in normal patients as well as in diabetics, the insulin is being secreted in response to the amount of glucose that you have in your food. Even if we eat a simple food, there is amount of glucose in the food and the sensors for this glucose, they are located in the distal intestines. So, in normal digestion, by the time food reaches distal intestines, most of this glucose is already absorbed from the food. So, very little stimulation of these hormones happens. Whereas, after mini gastric bypass, the food directly hits the distal intestine with lot of glucose in it. So, these sensors are much more stimulated. They lead to more stimulation of insulin release and the diabetes starts getting reversed right after the surgery. So, what could be the long-term precautions? Well, keep a watch on your weight as well as on your deficiencies. Do monitor your weight and do your blood test and other tests as prescribed by your team timely. Do not forget that a procedure has been done on your body and a long-term follow-up as suggested by your team must always be adhered to. Always keep taking the diet and the supplements that have been advised by your team and do not take them lightly. We hope this video was useful and this will enable you to take a better decision for your obesity problem. Do subscribe, like and share our videos if you like them and we wish you a really healthy life ahead. Thank you.